have a right to perform action but not to decide result shrimad bhagavad gita chapter 6 dhyan yoga shri krishna said o arjun the one who performs prescribed duties without desiring the result of his actions is actually a sanyasi and a yogi but the one who is powerless and has abandoned bodily activities is neither a sanyasi nor a yogi o arjun the one who is a sanyasi is not different from a yogi for none can become a yogi without renouncing worldly desires for the one who aspires to achieve perfection in yoga work without attachment is said to be the means and to the one who is already elevated in yoga tranquility in meditation is said to be the means the one who is neither attached to the sense objects nor to actions and has renounced all desires for the fruits of action has achieved the desired state in yoga one should control his mind and not allow it to go astray because the one who has control over his mind his mind is his friend and the one who is unable to do so his mind is his enemy for the one who has conquered his mind his mind is the best friend but who has failed to do so the mind works like the greatest enemy the one who has conquered the mind remains stable in cold and heat joy and sorrow honor and dishonor such a person remains peaceful and steadfast in his devotion to god the one who is satisfied with the knowledge and the wisdom about the self and has conquered his senses remains undisturbed in all circumstances he sees everything dirt stone and gold as the same such a person by virtue of his nature is a well wisher and looks upon all well wisher friends foes with impartial intellect he too has same attitude towards the pious and the sinful alike such a person is not attracted towards objects including mind and body he does not try to accumulate any kind of worldly objects and is constantly engaged in meditation with a controlled mind focused on the supreme to practice yoga one should make a asan seat in a sanctified place by placing kush grass deer skin and a cloth one over the other the seat should neither be too high nor too low seated firmly on it one should strive to purify the mind by focusing it on meditation controlling all thoughts and activities one must hold the body neck and head firmly in a straight line and gaze at the tip of the nose and should not look here and there being steadfast in vow of celibacy one should meditate on me with a serene fearless and unwavering peaceful mind having me alone as the supreme goal thus constantly keeping the mind absorbed in me one of disciplined mind attains supreme peace the one who is in such a state of yoga gets free from worldly bondages and attains nirvana which abides in me o arjun the one who eats too much or too little sleeps too much or too little cannot attain success in yoga but the one who is regulated in eating and recreation balanced in work and regulated in sleep is relieved from the worldly sufferings by practicing yoga when one with practice is able to control all his activities of his mind and frees himself from all worldly desires then he is said to be fully situated in yoga just as a lamp does not flicker in a windless place so the disciplined mind of a yogi remains steady on the self in meditation when the mind restrained by the practice of yoga becomes withdrawn from material activities and becomes still then one beholds the self and rejoices in his own self with inner joy in the joyous state one experiences supreme boundless divine bliss and thus situated the yogi is not disturbed and never deviates from the eternal truth the one who has attained such a state does not consider any other attainment to be greater and being established in this one is not shaken even in deepest sorrow therefore one should practice yoga 
to achieve this state where one is free from sorrow. This yoga should be practiced with determination and with mind undisturbed by worldly sufferings. One should practice yoga with determination and faith, should give up all material desires and control all his senses on all sides of the mind. One should gradually, with full faith, using his intellect, concentrate his mind and thoughts on the self and should not think of anything other than the Supreme. Wherever the mind wanders here and there, due to its flickering and unsteady nature, one must certainly withdraw it and bring it back under the control of the Self. The yogi, whose mind is in complete peace, has subdued his passion. Rajogun, mind fixed on me, attains the highest happiness by virtue of his identification with the Brahm supreme and becomes free from sins. The yogi who is in complete control of mind, uniting with the self, becomes free from material contamination and being in constant touch with the supreme, achieves the highest state of perfect happiness. A true yogi observes the supreme in all beings and also sees every being in the supreme, considers all equal. The one who sees me everywhere and sees everything in me, I am never out of his sight, nor he is out of sight for me. The one who is established in union with me, worships me as the supreme soul, residing in all beings, such a yogi dwells in me, though engaged in all forms of activities. O Arjun, the one who sees the true equality of all living beings and responds to the joys and sorrows of others as his own should be considered as a perfect yogi. Arjun said, O Madhusudan, the system of yoga which you have described appears impractical and unattainable to me because of restless and unsteady character of the mind. O Krishna, the mind is very restless, turbulent, strong and obstinate. It appears to me that it is more difficult to control the mind than the wind. Lord Krishna said, O mighty son of Kunti, undoubtedly what you say is correct. Indeed, it is very difficult to control the mind, but with practice and detachment, this can be achieved. For the one whose mind is not in control, definitely self-realization is a difficult job, but he who has controlled his mind and tries by right means can achieve the desired success. This is my opinion. Arjun said, O Krishna, the unsuccessful yogi who begins the path with faith but due to unsteady mind is unable to reach the goal of yoga in this life, where does he go? O mighty armed Krishna, is it not that such a person who deviates from yoga gets deprived of both material and spiritual success and perishes like a broken cloud with no position in either sphere. O Krishna, please dispel this doubt of mine completely as none other than you can clear this doubt. Supreme Lord said, O Part, one who has engaged himself on the spiritual path does not meet with destruction either in this world or in the world to come. One who is engaged in virtuous deeds will never meet the evil. An unsuccessful yogi after death goes to the abodes of the virtuous after dwelling there for many ages is reborn in a family of pious and prosperous. Or he is born in a family of yogis endowed with divine wisdom. Of course, such a birth is rare in this world. O son of Kuru, on taking such a birth, he regains the knowledge of his previous lives and strives even harder to achieve perfection. By virtue of the divine consciousness of his previous life, he gets attracted to the yogic principles. As a seeker, he practices yoga and strives to rise above. Such a seeker naturally rises above the ritualistic principles of the scriptures. 
with the accumulated merits of many past births he engages in sincere effort for further progress such a yogi becomes purified and attains the ultimate perfection in this life itself o arjuna a yogi is superior to the tapasvi ascetic superior to the jinani a person of learning and even superior to the karmi ritualistic performer therefore o arjun strive to be a yogi of all yogis he whose mind is always absorbed in me and engages in devotion to me with great faith with his mind focused on me i consider him to be the highest among all yogis om tat sat thus in shrimad bhagavad gita upanishad the science of brahma the scripture of yoga dialogue between shri krishna and arjun the chapter 6 named dhyan yoga is over thanks for watching and if you have liked please share with your friends and subscribe to the channel thank you